Shalom and greetings from Mount Carmel here in Israel. Um, today is a tough day in Israel as we have been responding to the dreadful news of the accidental killing of seven aid workers from the World Kitchen Organization who were delivering aid into Northern Gaza last night uh, in the dark. And then uh, having delivered the aid as they pulled away, they were hit, and Israel's acknowledged this, uh, by Israeli missiles. It was a complete mistake, and Israel has already been apologizing. They're investigating deeply what actually happened. One of the uh, early reports suggests that there were terrorists in the area and that Israel were mindful of the reality on the ground that Hamas has been stealing aid. This has been an ongoing problem, which nobody in the world seems to want to talk about. But it was amazing that a few weeks ago, Al Jazeera, the Qatari-owned news media station, were interviewing uh, Gazans, and uh, they were just basically trying to build up as much anti-Israel propaganda as they could. And then an elderly lady, uh, and it was live TV, so Al Jazeera could, could, could do nothing about it, really. An elderly lady said, I'm tired, I'm old, I don't care if anybody wants to kill me. I'm going to tell you the truth, she said. Hamas is stealing our aid, and we're starving because Hamas takes all the aid for itself. That was a few weeks ago. It startled the journalist who was interviewing her because that was the last thing he wanted to hear, and it was live TV, so they couldn't take it back. Um, but what happened last night was a devastating mistake. And what I'm trying to... Uh, want to encourage us all to do is to discern the news. I have never seen anything quite like the way the news media uh, portrays what is happening in such an unbalanced and hateful anti-Israel way, which stirs anti-Semitism in the nations and uh, creates problems. Now, obviously, Israel has owned up to what happened last night and has expressed deep sorrow as it should do. But please, could you imagine Hamas owning up to what it does and saying, we're sorry, we didn't mean it? And of course not, because they are terrorists, because they have murder on their hearts and minds. And still, the Western media uh, gives them a voice, tells us that uh, the Gazan Health Authority says something or other, when in fact the Gazan Health Authority is Hamas run. And Hamas commits mass murder. And we know the genocide they committed on October the 7th. I've been on the border. I've seen the devastation. And it is shocking beyond words what they did. And the accounts of prisoners, hostages who've got free, of being raped, of being sexually assaulted. Um, and of course, people, you know, when they came into the uh, Israeli neighborhood in the south on the border, they committed dreadful atrocities that I hardly wish to speak about. But in the light of the way the media is reporting what is happening, I'm going to say this, that Hamas murdered babies. They raped women. They burnt people together, families they burnt babies in their cribs. There is evidence for this. I don't need to prove it. Um, and therefore, when it comes to trying to understand what is going on, we need to be able to discern what is happening. Uh, I watched the BBC while I was in England, and they said, all right, now we need an Israeli voice, an Israeli representative. And they brought somebody on, somebody called Gideon Levy from Haaretz, who is completely unrepresentative of anybody in Israel. Nobody who, who has his opinion, indeed, is in the Israeli parliament. But they brought him on. And of course, the people watching the news had no idea who he was. And I've noticed how Sky News are playing games as well. I realized they had two articles, one after the other, on their online media. One saying... Uh, uh, Israel's pulled out of, of the Shifa hospital compound, where actually Israel uh, found some uh, almost a thousand terrorists there. And it was Hamas firing at Israel from uh, at Israeli soldiers from within maternity wards, from the very wards where people were being treated in the hospital. 
But as soon as, but nobody says this in the Western news. So Sky News said oh, Israel's withdrawn from the Shifa compound. And then they also said, of course, thousands are protesting against Benjamin Netanyahu, trying to link together those two pieces of information. But actually, the protests against the Netanyahu government have got nothing to do with what the IDF is actually doing in Gaza, which has united the whole country because it's time Hamas was removed. So it's a very tough time. And I just want you to, as you listen to the news and the way it's being presented is extremely manipulative by the Western media, by the nations who are increasingly stirring anti-Semitism, um, we should be careful about how we receive that news. Remember, Israel is desperately saddened by what has happened. Has Hamas ever apologized for anything ever at all? Of course not. Let me read you some verses because I'm so disturbed by this. Psalm 2. Why do the nations rage and the people plot a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together. Sounds like the United Nations to me against the Lord and against his anointed saying, let us break their bonds in pieces and cast away their cords from us. He who sits in heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall hold them in derision. And then there is uh, some advice right at the end of Psalm 2 for the leaders of the nations. Kiss the son, lest he be angry and you perish in the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little, blessed are all those who put their trust in him. I appeal to you, those of us who trust in the Lord with all our heart and try not to lean upon our own understanding, to discern what is happening when you are presented with the news and that you would see the truth because our Lord is the way, the truth and the life and we must stand for the truth. So let me pray. So, Father, I do pray for the families of the seven aid victims, the uh, Lord who are grieving for the loss of those people. It's a terrible loss. And, Lord, we ask you to comfort those who are weeping. And, Lord, Lord, we pray in the name, your name, that's a holy name, Lord, the name of Yeshua, that you would bring healing and you would bring deliverance. We do pray for the innocent people of Gaza, that they would receive the aid that they need. We pray again, you would deliver Gaza from Hamas, Lord, who, who abuse their own people, who steal the aid and commit mass murder. Lord, we pray for deliverance for Gaza from the terror of Hamas. And Lord, I pray also that, Lord, your peace would prevail over Israel, that, Lord, you would bring about the necessary changes at the right time in our government and in our nation. And we ask this in Yeshua's name. God bless you from Mount Carmel.